Well, there you have it. Chelsea are champions of the world. It took them till extra time for that 2-1 win over Palmeiras. Were they deserving of it, Yanis? I think in the end they were. I think I want to do give uh, credit to Palmeiras, uh, not just because you, that's what you normally do, but I thought that, you know, tactically for the most part, they, they matched uh, they matched Chelsea, right? I mean, if you look at the stats purely in terms of possession and all that, we all know that's often uh, meaningless, especially with Chelsea. Uh, they very often have that and frustrate us. And I think they did throughout the game. It was... Uh, you know, tactical matchup uh, between the two and Chelsea, my goodness. I mean, Thomas Tuchel surprised us with like three different formations in terms of substitutions and, and all the changes as well. But I think Palmeiras were there. They had their chances. They were dangerous. And uh, But in the end, you know, hats off uh, to Chelsea Football Club because as we all know it, they've won everything. There is to be one really in terms of every major trophy. I think that's important. Uh, you know, Thomas Tuchel barely made it there. Let's not forget he had COVID and you know, it was a question mark. So he got there. He's been, I think, under pressure to some degree, which Chelsea manager isn't, right? Lukaku and the story behind all of that, even within this game, right? So so I think Chelsea, uh, in the end, uh, deserved it. And uh, congratulations to Kai, Kai Havertz, uh, uh, yeah. scored the winner in the Champions well, League wasn't final. It? Well, scored against Manchester City in the Champions League and scored the winner here yeah. as well. So fair play to him. I think I think that was the first thing a lot of people will have thought of when they saw him, because it does take some guts to stand up and do that, doesn't it? And it looked as though Aspilicueta wanted it too. But then to put it away and for everything that it meant, you know, big congratulations to Chelsea. So there's lots to talk about with mm -hmm. regards to what it means, this win. It's a complete set of trophies for them. It's their second trophy of the season so far because of the UEFA Super Cup at the beginning of the campaign. Uh, Edward Mendy is champion of Europe, Africa, and now the world. Were you surprised <laughs> to see him in the starting 11? Well, I mean, yes and no. It depends. As a former player, you know, you look at it uh, on the side of the manager and you can understand that, right? I mean, this trophy meant a lot because of what we just said. That was the one piece missing was important to Roman Abramovich, who was there, was important to Thomas Tuchel and the player, right? Some make fun of it, in particular, maybe in some English uh, fans, maybe even Chelsea fans, but I think it's big. We saw that from Palmeiras and the wonderful supporters that came all the way there. I think if you're going to be you know, out there talking the Premier League is the best there is, right? Then you have to prove it. And I think that was an important part. In my book, you know, I mean, are they the, the, the world champions? Of course not, because the tournament, it's kind of a small piece of it. But I think it's one where you match yourself against, you know, the best from other continents. And, and Palmeiras are a great team, of course. So they won Copa Libertadores back to back. Uh, they've done better than they did last, uh, last time out, right? So... Uh, so fair play. So I, th I, I think for a manager, K, you want to start the best player, best players. And in his mind, Edward Mendy is number one. And it's hard to argue. However, Kepa has done absolutely everything. Right. And if he is to leave, right, which everybody says, I mean, this could have been I mean, it would have been very small risk. It's not like other clubs where you sometimes play a second inexperienced goalkeeper in the cup competitions, right? I mean, he's been absolutely uh, a tremendous in the absence of uh, Mendy, and I think he deserved it, but uh, I understand it both ways. As Kepa, I would not be a happy camper, that's for sure. Uh, Lukaku is probably going to be a bit happier. We saw some cryptic messages on Snapchat before this game, but he definitely got the service he wants there for his goal. Well, he did. Uh, I, he still looked fr uh, 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 frustrated to me. Of course, I was surprised that he came off. We don't know why that was. Was it purely tactical? If that's the case, makes you wonder why. I mean, he finally scores the goal. You're trying to find a way of, of getting the best out of him. And, and you know, I, I wouldn't have taken him out. Although we have to remember that sometimes substitutions our preparations for another substitutions. I've mentioned, you know, the change, you know, was, you know, three, four, three, then it went to three, five, two, right? Christian Pulisic, there, there were injuries, of course, in the, in the first half, in the end was four, one, two, three. Jorginho, I was waiting for him. Maybe he was being safe for penalties. So a lot of the times we don't know what's happening. Christensen certainly wouldn't have come off, but you saw him crimping up a little bit. He had a wonderful game as well. So I, I'm going to stop short in terms of why Lukaku came off. On surface, it's surprising, but, you know, maybe we'll find out a little bit more uh, about that. But they still need to find a way uh, to get the best out of him. And that's Thomas Tuchel's job. Yeah, big blow to lose Mason Mount just after 30 minutes of play, fast off through injury, hey? 
Yes, but uh, a good thing for you know some of us on this side of the pond, I suppose, because Christian Pulisic, who was under tremendous amount of pressure, he's put himself under pressure uh, as well uh, in, in some of the interviews, came in and, and, and put in a really, really good shift. Well, once again, being being shifted, if you will, all over the pitch, right? I mean, you know, with, with the changes in the system, uh, he probably was wondering where he's going to go next within that game, but he was good. Uh, an injury is, is never a good thing, but, you know, if you win a trophy, I suppose you can look past that a little bit. Yeah, big congratulations to Chelsea on their Club World Cup win. It's a big one for them and a clean sweep of trophies for the team and Thomas Tuchel. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.